Hello. So in Maharishi Ayurveda, we understand that the heart is the seat of consciousness. And you might think, you know, the mind is the seat of consciousness, but truly it is the heart. The heart um, is where we go to when we need to really dive deep within ourselves and make a decision. Uh, we refer to our, our heart. Uh, the mind is actually what carries out the commands of the heart. So um, in, this in this way, the heart is um, the home, the chest is the home of the heart and the head is the office of the heart uh, where the, the business uh, transactions are made or the decisions are made. Um, and the chest is is the home of the heart and the heart you can think of it as the container and the content is the consciousness and so in Ayurveda we have different tissues we have seven different tissues and the very first one nourishes the second one, which nourishes the third one, the fourth one, on down the line. And the very first tissue is rasa, which is fluids, and it's what forms the blood. And the heart is the root of rasa. So when the heart is pure and balanced, and clear then it can distribute or it can house this pure balanced healthy rasa and from there rasa can nourish the next dot the next dot or the next tissue and the next tissue and the next tissue uh, creating for a balanced physiology um, where there is no pain or suffering and where decisions can be made uh, with clarity um, and uh, transparency. Um, so rasa is the nourishing foundation of all the datus. And then also the heart distributes um, life-giving prana, which is carried through the blood, which is formed by rasa. And prana, like I said, it's this life-giving essence or um, force. And you, it's not, you can't see it. Um, and it has to do with our decision-making, our mental clarity, um, our vitality, and so once again, when our heart is in good condition, um, this this prana is nourished and alive and healthy and is distributed efficiently throughout our body, again, helping us to um, make good decisions in life, have energy, have joy. Um, have great connections um, and so when we say the heart is the seat of consciousness um, it really means that the heart is where we go to to understand how we truly feel about a situation um, to understand who we are and why we we feel a certain way and then and then from there we go to the mind to carry out the next steps to um, choose one path or another 
Um, I have a, a life experience about this. Um, I was dating someone, and um, he um, was very logical, very rational, very up in his head. And I, I had noticed that. And we came to a juncture in our relationship where it came time for him to kind of make a decision. And he was very conflicted because in his mind, he thought, okay, well, this, you know, this is what the book says. And this is what, you know, this is the black and white print. And... I I want to follow these rules, but unfortunately, the situation doesn't allow for it. And um, I told him, you know, you live up in your head, and you need to learn how to live down in your heart and understand, you know, when life isn't black and white, how are you going to make a decision? And why? Who are you? What are your values? What are your values? Not, not you know, societies, not your parents, not, you know, what tradition says. What do you believe, you know? Um, and he thanked me for that. And, um, and I could only say that to him because that was something, that is something that I have been, really working on for many years is who am I and you know why do I make one decision instead of another uh, because you know for a long time in life we're, we're raised by our parents up until say 18 and then we go to college and um, and you know if we're lucky our parents put decision making in our hands with gentle guidance but oftentimes we're told what to do and why and if we don't do what our parents say or think is the best, um, then we're not encouraged to to go that route, and we're not supported, and that can be confusing, um, which hinders the um, the process of finding your 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 heart and your your consciousness in your heart um, to be able to to live from a place of authenticity uh, and real true knowingness so that's that's uh, my explanation of um, how the heart is the seat of consciousness and a little bit of my experience as well I hope you enjoyed